Hi, this is Robin at Robin's Realm Readings, and I'm here to do Rundown on the Elements. And right now, I'm doing Earth Signs. I'm doing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot deck. And we're just going to do a quick catch-up and see what's going on the rest of the month for you guys, okay? Now, if you're returning to my channel, I love you, love you, love you. You know I do. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you ever want a reading from me, just hit me up in my email in the box below. Tell me you're interested in a reading, and I'll give you a, I'll tell you what I need. It's, it's very, very, very special. So let me know if you're interested. But let me see what's going on with you guys, okay, for the rest of the month. What energies are showing up for the Earth signs in the last half of January? This is some grounded energy around us right now. A lot of people are being grounded down. Like, what's most important? Stick to that. What's the truth? Stick to that. What works for you? Stick to that. Uh, we'll see what the cards have to say to you guys, okay? So let's see what's going on with the earth signs. Gemini, Le um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Retract that. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth signs. What's showing up for the earth signs for the last half of January 2019? Your solid rocks. You guys are holding your own. To those of you, now this is a general reading, so remember that this won't apply to all of you. People tend to take their readings very, very intimately. And yes, we do tend to take these little bits and pieces of insights and apply them to our own life. We do it very often. Make sure that you don't make life adjustments based on a basic uh, general reading. It's not appropriate. It's not, it's not good to your soul. But these are elements that show up. And this is basically for the the generalized energy, psychic energy of the earth signs right now. So here we go. Here you go. This is the, this is someone who's contented. She's got good moral standards. She, her whole body is covered. She, just, she doesn't have to flaunt her body for anything she needs. She goes about it in a very grounded and, and, and responsible way. She's very fertile, see the rabbit? But she's also very, very happy where she's at. She has peace. And this is someone who's grounded. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's secure and happy to be alone. She, have, she has her business right with the divine. And there she is, alone, happy there. If you want a part of this one, you have to earn it. That's the energy I get for her. So what else is showing up for the earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, for the, uh, sun, moon, and rising for the end of the month. Cross watchers are welcome here. I just encourage peace, okay? Let people be people. Let them, lo let them love at the highest level that they possibly can. You can't make people do things. and you, Sometimes we don't even understand each other, right? But that's okay. We have to hold our own footing and our own grounding and be spiritual spiritual and focused on our own business. And that's where a lot of our happiness is. This one really wants to come out. Someone has placed down a burden. They're just tired. Uh, the ten of... Here's where you're carrying the burden just full blast. You're like, oh shit. Too much on my plate. I'm doing too much. I'm, I'm worn out. I'm exhausted. I'm doing too much. I'm at the end of my rope. If I have to carry one more stick or one more thing, it's going to break my back. So, you retract that, and you remember who you are. You are the nine, and you release some of the burden, and you ask for help. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Apply this principle. You're being asked to ask for help. Be humble. Ask for help. Walk away from what doesn't serve you. Some of you are leaving. Some of you have had enough of the burden and are going on to have a single life. You are leaving a bad relationship, a toxic one perhaps. The, um, the devil doesn't even have to be here for me to know that. And that if you're not being served emotionally by something, if it's not serving you, you must leave it. Ask for help and leave. You have eight, nine, ten, eight. Interesting. 
Earth signs. What's showing up for the Earth signs universe? Please show me. Ooh, the sun card just flipped over. Let's see if it comes back out again. What else is showing up for the Earth signs till the end of the month, please? Thank you. Oh, look. This is there's a fountain of youth. You know, that's like happiness and joy and abundance of love and abundance of emotions. And look again, the Dove of Peace. She has a Dove of Peace in both cards. Hopefully that's you guys. This is a general, read, general reading, so it won't apply to everyone. Be careful about that, okay? Um, but let's see what's happening. Earth signs, last part of January. Oh, my God. Some of you are going to have to hit me up for a reading because some of you have just found a karmic partner from the past or a soulmate, or you're remembering what it felt like to feel like that and not like that, okay? And you've made yourself ready by leaving something that didn't serve you that was toxic or uh, depressing or burdensome, and you moved into a happier space. Because you're in that happier space, you will attract love to yourself and someone who's meant for you to know, someone who's meant to cross your path, is meant to encourage you and lift you up and make you remember what it feels like to be loved and accepted exactly like you are. King of Cups is showing up. And this is a man, uh, this is the energy of, I'll read these to you like this. You have a lot of water signs showing up in your existence, Earth. Okay? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you have the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Now, you could be walking away from one, regaining your heart space, regaining this wonderful gift. He's holding this one cup up. All right. See that? Or you may be attracting new love to yourself and you're going to be absolutely in the heart space able to receive and give reciprocal kind of love and affection. Ooh, show me, Spirit, what the Six of Cups is for the earth signs. Victory. You'll feel passion and victory. All of the old challenges from the past. Um, competition. Lack of communication. This is communication and passion. Your passions are being revived, earth signs right now, uh, by having this heart space, this beautiful divine heart space. What's going on? You can't see. I don't know what's blocking it. Yet it's dark. Let me move these over here. I'm sorry, you guys. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay? And this is for the last half of the month. This is run down in the elements. So this is the Eight of Wands. Is um, Both of these wands are fire energy too. Um, it could be... Uh, this could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarian coming in to make a relationship with an earth sign. Easily could be. Easily could be. Um, and your heart's wide open. Of course, he's not going to tell you everything because he's a king. He earned his position. This is a position that you place your heart in where you're noble, you're grounded, you're mature, you know what you have to offer. You're meeting someone from the past or even yourself coming and going spiritually. Uh, you're, you're calling in. I'm wondering what the romance angels are going to say for you guys. But the Eight of Wands is passion and communication, fast-moving energy. Six of Wands is getting the victory over battles. One more card for our lovely earth signs until the end of the month. The hell? I don't understand what my goofy phone is doing. Hang on, guys. I don't see what it's doing. I don't know why it lost... I hope you guys can see it. God, this thing's crazy. I'm not redoing this, though. You can see what I got. Sorry, guys. 
Love you very much. Somebody needs to get grounded, huh? <laughs> All right. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn to the end of January. What is showing up for them? The sun came out. Didn't I say the sun? And then this card came out as your main card. Some of you are not wanting to leave, but you have to leave because the burden is so great. The world card, you're tired of this. You've been through some shifts and changes, it looks like. You're trying to get back to your innocence and your and your joy and your happiness. And you indeed do. This could be a, a Leo that's assisting you in your life. This could be the way you feel. Um, sometimes in the Six of Cups you'll see, not in this one, but you see two little kids and their blonde head, toe-head kids, and they're playing just so innocently and so purely and so happy back to their natural state of being. That is what I have for you. Going back to your natural state of being. Romance Angels, what do you want to say to our Earth signs to carry them through the end of the month? What is happening? You're being enlivened. You're being... Release your ex. You have to do it. It's an act. It's a, it's a stability. And if anybody knows how to do it, the Earth signs know how to do it. Just... Walk away. No more inspecting what's going on with them. No more checking their email. No more expecting them to communicate with you, whoever this is. Because all that does is tie you up and lock you down. And you can't go into this innocent space that you so desperately want and need. You must stop watching. Stop talking. Stop communicating. Let them go. All right? Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn, one more, Romance Angel, there is passion, that's passion, I can see why you're feeling passion, oh my god, that is so beautiful, well that's run down on the elements, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn until the end of the month, I love you very much, thank you for coming back to my channel and being here for me. And if you'd like a reading, let me know, please. Email is in the box below. Love you. Release your ex. Okay? Bye.